With its vast inland fishery resources in Meghalaya's Garo Hills, there are tremendous scopes and potentials in developing fishery sector of the state, but lags behind in harnessing the potential of these natural resources due to lack of proper infrastructure. To preserve the indigenous species and promote ecotourism in the state, a week-long aqua fest was organized in Garo Hills of Tura. Take a look at it. India's northeastern Meghalaya state is predominantly a fish-consuming state and the supply of fish is inadequate to meet its growing demand, making the state import fish from Andhra Pradesh. Under the Meghalaya government's ambitious mission, the Meghalaya State Aquaculture Mission 2012, Department of Fisheries, in collaboration with District Administration and Integrated Basing Development and Livelihood Promotion Program, Basing Development Unit, Tura organized a week-long aqua fest in Tura. The fest aimed to bring together fish farmers from the region on a single platform to share their fish conservation and farming stories. Basically, the main objective of this creating this sanctuary is to protect the ever ever diminishing population of chocolate mussel, which is an indigenous species here. So see, now it has become a successful. So, but uh, organizing this kind of event is just to create awareness to the general public. Similarly, as part of Equafest, an exhibition was organized which was attended by Meghalaya Chief Minister Dr. Mukul Sangma, Director of Fishery Ram Singh, amongst other dignitaries. At the closing ceremony, the Chief Minister also gave away prizes for winners of various competitions to the participants and villages which have demonstrated excellence by keeping fish centuries. All the successful farmers did remain our most potential partners in as far as the implementation of aquaculture mission is concerned. Therefore, all the committed farmers who have taken advantage of this program and have seen, not only for themselves, but also shown the way for others, that it can be one of the sustainable source of income for the farmers. We will support them with some additional program for expansion of their existing farms. Such initiative will boost the economy of the fish farmers and turn around in providing alternative livelihood linked to nutritional and food security.